One of the things that we talked about um, last week is, is you know, you know what this is going to mean for these two quarterbacks, the goat versus the baby goat. And our third topic is called Brady's dessert. And uh, I think we're going to try to uh, decide whether this is a, a new piece of cake for Brady or if it's just icing on the cake. Is this, if this is a super, another Super Bowl win for Brady, does this really add to his legacy or is it just kind of like that little extra nudge uh, to just solidify that he's the GOAT? I think it's just that extra little piece of frosting that we all like having, you know, because it's like he's already the GOAT. He's already the greatest of all time. I think this reemphasized how good he is getting to his 10th Super Bowl with a completely different team, you know, doing it in the first year that he arrives on that new team. I think that says a lot as well. So I think there is no real debate of who the greatest quarterback is of all time. It is Tom Brady. I think this is just going to be, like you said, a little bit of icing on the cake for him. If he can win that extra Super Bowl and have a seventh title, I mean, that's just amazing. Six is amazing in itself. I don't think you're going to see any other quarterback get to six in our lifetime. So if he can get seven, I think that's amazing. I mean, it's, but it's just an adding adding another piece. I mean, it, and getting closer to being the Bill Russell of the NFL, I guess. But, um, yeah, I think it, it's not going to change much of, of his legacy. It's just going to reinforce it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. <laughs> this is going to be a cop-out. I agree with you, but I also think that if you think about what he's doing, not only is he already the GOAT, he goes to a different team with a different set of skill players in a shortened offseason because of the pandemic. And then he goes, and if he wins the Super Bowl at age 43, nobody's ever come close to doing that. So he's setting the bar even higher than he's already set it. The bar is way the hell up there already. He's setting it even higher if he wins a seventh at age 43 with a completely different team. Uh, I don't think it changes his status. I just think it makes the bar even higher for the next guy who could try to reach him. And I think that guy, co coincidentally, could be Pat Mahomes. He could be maybe the next quarterback that tries to reach that pinnacle. And that's another thing. If Mahomes gets his second, then you might say that he's starting to creep up towards Brady because there's only a few guys that have their second. But – I think for this one, like you mentioned, Brady's legacy isn't going to change with whatever happens in this game. It only might just raise the bar to what other quarterbacks have to aspire to. I still insist if he had those weapons in New England, he'd be playing in his 10th Super Bowl for New England. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, I think that was a big difference. But it's, it's amazing what he's done. 